iconic and much copied and produced in many different formats and styles, today I'm going to be looking at four different versions of the Beretta 92. As previously mentioned, the Beretta 92 has long been a favourite of mine and I own several. Today we're looking at four of them. Why four? Well, these are my favourites. First up, is the standard black Umarex 92FS, which was my first CO2 pistol many years ago, and I still love it. It's a real heavyweight, built of mostly metal uh, with plastic clipping grips. It holds the eight round magazine so common in most of the Umarex pistols, and indeed in the Winchester replicas. They are simple and efficient, and the only time I've ever changed one is after I totally wore it out. But they are pretty cheap, and they last for years. The gun is accurate and feels amazing with the weight and balance. The durability is excellent, as you can see from this example, which has been used without mercy over the past 15 years plus. The safety is dual sided click, which suits both left and right handers and is sure and true. The sights are fixed and open front and rear. The action is dual and single. It is giving the same feet per second readings today as it did from new and that's around 400 feet per second. Loading the magazine is a simple drop-in action. Loading the CO2 is also simple and requires no hex key, just a simple drop-in. Tighten with the threaded winder, then clip in the bottom lever. The action breaks the seal and you're away. The downside if you're looking for one would be its lack of blowback action, which leads me nicely to the next 92 replica, a blowback version from KWC. Again, all metal construction with plastic grips, giving it again that weighty feel. The dropout magazine is also metal, which holds the CO2 cartridge and 18 BBs. Loading the CO2 is simple enough with the supplied hex key. Loading the BBs, however, is not quite so simple and is likely to result in the loss of some of your fingernails trying to slide back the recessed spring and retainer. The BBs then need to be loaded in through the top one at a time in this magazine because there is no bottom hole of the magazine which means you've got to hold that spring back into place whilst you're loading the BBs resulting in the loss of the rest of your fingernails. It would be possible though to modify this magazine simply by drilling a hole to drop the BBs in from the bottom. That's probably a job for the future. Once loaded, slide the magazine back into the gun and again, you're away. Then you experience that wonderful blowback action, which goes with some force. To add further to the experience of this gun, it's also feel strippable, which is always a favourite of mine. Now this is semi-automatic, but there is apparently a fully automatic version available in countries where it's allowed. But I'm pretty sure you'll need to buy your CO2 and BBs in bulk for that one. This version also has a bottom rail for those usual toys such as lasers etc. Now I love this one, it is real fun and a great feel to it. The downside would be you do lose a little bit of accuracy because of that blowback action, but it's worth it. Whilst we're talking blowback, 
feel strippable and BBs, there is the fabulous looking M9A3, which has all the things the KWC has, 16 rounds of BBs, but with a slightly easier magazine loading system. You will still lose some of your fingernails though. It does have that wonderful military look and construction to it, together with a thread for a silencer or moderator. Now I have done a full review on this one if you want more information. Quite a favourite of mine. Lastly, my ultimate favourite so far in the 92s, the nickel and wooden grip Umarex 92FS. This is identical in action and mechanics to the black one that we looked at earlier with its non-blowback 8 round 177 pellet magazine but it looks and feels a million dollars. The finish is superb with the wooden grips and the golden Beretta inlay is absolutely gorgeous. Now at £270 UK price, this isn't cheap, but I can see this gun lasting you a lifetime if the black one is anything to go by. The only question I need to ask now is how much can I get for one of my kidneys to get me one of these? There really is a Beretta 92 out there for everyone. The choice is amazing, but hopefully this has just given you a brief look at some of the best ones in my opinion.